Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Let us discuss how to draw the projections of the given line when the line is inclined to VP and parallel to HP. Okay, so here I am taking this is the line PQ line. The end is P here. This end is Q. This line is PQ line, and this line is inclined to vertical plane. Okay, here I am taking these are the planes, vertical plane and horizontal plane. Okay, and the line joining both vertical plane and horizontal plane is XY line. We can call it as reference line also. And here the angle between vertical plane and horizontal plane is 90 degrees. So it is making first quadrant. Okay. I am keeping like this. Okay. For showing the line. So here the line is inclined to VP. Okay. Inclined to VP means now I am keeping the line like this. It is parallel to VP now. Just like this. Okay. The distance between this line and this vertical plane is constant. Now what about horizontal plane? The distance between horizontal plane and this line is constant. Okay. It is parallel to both the planes. Now in this given condition line is inclined to VP. So it is making angle like this. So it is making angle with the vertical plane. This angle. Okay. This is the vertical plane and parallel to the horizontal plane. So this is a given condition. Okay. Now let us see how to draw the projections of it. For doing the projections, take the data given data. An ATMM long line PQ. This line length is 8 centimeter. I have written here given data. And is inclined at 30 degrees to the VP. Okay, 30 degrees to the VP. This line is making 30 with the VP. Okay. And then, and is parallel to HP. This line is parallel to the horizontal plane. The end P of the line is 20 mm above HP. Okay. P point is 20 mm above HP like this. Okay. So, P is 20 mm above HP. 40 mm in front of VP. Okay. This P point is 40 mm in front of VP. Okay. 20 mm above HP. 40 mm in front of VP. Okay, the same thing I have written here. Okay, this line is like this. It is making angle. How much angle it is making? 30 degrees to the VP and parallel to the HP. The line position is like this. Okay. Now here after that, draw the projections of the line. We need to draw the projections of this line. Projections means front view of the line and top view of the line. And then determine its traces. Okay. First we do the projections. After that we will find the traces of this line. So the line position is like this. In projections we have to do the front view of this line and top view of this line okay how this line is looking in the front view how the line is looking like in the top view okay as we know if you see from this side it is a front view okay so this front view is looking here on the vertical plane okay at what distance front view is coming how much distance this p point is 20 mm above hp okay from xy line 20 mm above xy line we can see the line here so now after front view front view is looking like horizontal line okay and in the top view, if you see the top, we can see this entire length, inclined line on the horizontal plane. We can see the line as it is. We can see the entire length. It is called true length of the line. So how much distance we can see here? This P point is 40 mm away from the vertical plane. Okay. So from XY line 40 mm, we can see this entire true length. In the projections, always remember, first draw the true length of the line, whether it is front view or top view. In our case, in the top view, we can see this line. First do this true length here. Just roughly I am doing. Let us take this is 40 mm. And uh, we can see this. And uh, at 40 mm we can see this inclined line. Okay. In the top view. The line length is. I will make it dark. This line length is 8 cm. I am taking this is. P small p small q we are giving in the top view. Okay. True length we can see 8 cm. Let us assume. Okay. And after that just do the projections here. Now this is the top view of this line after top view do the front view okay now at what distance we can see the front view here on the vertical plane 20 mm this gap is given 20 mm so here 20 mm we can see the horizontal line okay. so just tilt this horizontal plane in downward direction like this so we are converting the previous view that is 3d view like 2d view by tilting this horizontal plane okay. now here at 20 mm gap we can see the line okay horizontal image in the front view here but how much distance it is we don't know because this is if you see this inclined line from the front it is looking like horizontal but we don't know how much length this horizontal line okay for getting that length just do the projector lines vertical lines okay and here at 20 mm just mark top view is we are marking p dash q dash like that small letters okay make it dot this is a front view and this is a top view in 2d we we can call it as orthographic projections Okay, why we are doing orthographic projections means in 3D view we have to do like this. Okay, 
every time we can't do 90 degrees planes and we have to do this position so it is it is taking lot of time that's why we are tilting this horizontal plane okay this plane in downward direction like this so that we can easily do the 3d view in 2d okay this is orthographic projection this is a front view this is a top view now do the same thing in the sheet so for doing this diagram first do the xy line of any length we are calling this line is the reference line now after doing this line mark p dash at 20 mm from xy line just do the projector line okay this is p dash and then mark m line 40 mm from xy this is small p small p take 30 degrees okay so in this direction take 8 centimeter line it is coming here now this is a top view small p small q and then this is a true length after that do the projector lines with light color already we did here so take this is the reference fill the roller scale to q just do the light color line okay. now at p dash do the horizontal line take this line is a reference line do the front view up to this line okay now this is p dash this intersection point is q dash this is the front view these are the projections and uh, here in the question also find its traces traces means intersection point of the extended line and the reference plane okay so if we are extending this line this line will intersect the vertical plane at one of the point we are getting one intersection point that point we are calling trace what type of trace it is it is coming on the vertical plane that's why it is a vertical trace okay so for getting the vertical trace on the sheet what we are doing is in the top view we are seeing the true length okay correct so extend this line like this we will get one intersection point do in the diagram Now this point is we are seeing in the top view small letters small p small q like that I am taking vertical trace small v small v is the vertical trace in the top view okay for getting the front view what we did we did projector lines at all points like that we had to do the projector line here okay, this is the reference line just do the line here okay. and then extend this line because this if you are extending this line vertical trace is coming here okay v dash at what distance it is getting 20 mm above hp okay that's why extend this line also okay, this is a reference line do the extension line here this side also okay now this intersection point we are taking trace okay and giving in the front view v dash this is v okay now this is the vertical trace in the front view and uh, this small v is vertical trace in the top view now which is the trace v dash is denoted by vertical trace okay so the extension line to the vertical plane okay so here you can write vertical trace is vt is v dash it is denoted by v dash because above xy line it is the vertical plane below xy line it is the horizontal plane so what about horizontal trace horizontal trace we are denoted by hd okay now this line is parallel to the horizontal plane so there is no intersection point between horizontal plane and vertical plane okay so it has no horizontal trace so we can write no hd okay and the vt is v dash here I'm marking the projections and traces write the given dimension this p point is 20 mm above hp okay and 40 mm in front of vp and this line is making 30 degrees to the vp okay and the line length pq is 80 mm here okay so in this method we can mark the projections and traces Thank you for watching.